What is going on Outlaws Death here and today we're going to be talking about how to unlock and set up your Moonshiner role. Now it's very simple but nonetheless you guys know I like breaking this down with videos that show you step by step everything you have to do. I'm not going to commentate throughout the whole video but I'm going to show you exactly what I have to do and right now I'm going to tell you the steps you will have to follow. First off, you will have to go to Emerald Ranch with 25 gold bars to purchase your first Moonshiner Shack. Once you've done this, you'll be able to go and start setting up your business. It will not be set up from the get-go. You will actually have to do a couple of missions to get your things going. One, you will have to rescue a cook to make your moonshine. And two, you will have to get the equipment for the cook. So, I'm going to be showing you those two missions, exactly how I handled them and how I got my moonshiner business set up. So, if you have any questions regarding the moonshiner role or anything in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online, let me know in the comment section below. For now, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more RDR2 Online content. For now, your boy Death Gun, out. You must be Crips, friend. I'll try not to hold that against you. Your name's Maggie. Thanks for coming. She's back. Jesus, what are you doing? It's me. <laughs> what the hell? I missed, didn't I? Don't come in like a bull through the fence next time, you old fool. <laughs> Your friend here managed to get it right. Lightning Maggie Fike. We all thought you were dead. Yes, yeah, so did I. <laughs> Guess you'll be wanting a drink. Oh, Come yeah. on, give me a hand. <laughs> Biggest mistake of my life, not marrying this woman when I had the chance. Yeah, you always did have a colorful memory of things. <laughs> anyway, it's too late now. As you can see, I have gone and hit my prime. Well, I heard what happened with Hickson. Oh. Evil son of a bitch. Where you, uh, where you been all this time? Recovering. Lying low. Couldn't barely get out of bed for six months. And your nephew? Them. Still in jail, as far as I know. Uh, you seen Danny Lee yet? Oh, yeah, I've seen him. Cooking for the Braithwaites now. Guess me and him were done. A cell? Heard he's not working for Leclerc anymore. Feller's a windbag, but he knows his way around the still. Yeah, maybe. Feels like it'd be much easier for everyone if I just stayed gone. Mm. But life ain't about being easy. I am taking back what's mm. mine. Mm. I need legs, though, and I need muscle. Oh, you'll get that one, this one, and more, I promise you. Two of us already got a nice little business going. Long as you know, it won't be pretty. I don't do pretty no more. So, uh, what's the buy-in? First things first, I need a cookhouse. What's wrong with this place? Been empty for a while now. No, I need a good basement. I reckon I could try and get one of my old spots back up and running. Bastards seized them all after the raid. You buy me back one of those. I reckon you'll have a fair enough investment. Teach you everything I know. So what you say? Uh, believe me, nobody knows more about moonshine than Maggie. Listen to her. You'll make that back in no time. Come on, the two of you were made for each other. <laughs> All right then, partners it is. You meet me back there when you can, we'll work out what else it is we need when we get set up. Uh, can I offer you a ride, Miss Fike? Suppose so. Well, maybe we can stop for a drink on the way. We just had a drink. <laughs> I know. Now I want another one. Some things don't change. <laughs>
Hey now, you ain't supposed to be here.
I am happy to say we are officially in business. <laughs> Allez-y, I will show you the engine room. <laughs> Thank you for your interventions the other day. I was turning into a rather unpleasant experience. <laughs> so here we are. Nice and private. <laughs> for obvious reasons, huh? There she is. Uh, our still a beauty, huh? Since I've been told that you are new in the business, I was thinking you might need some friendly mentorship. Illicit distillation is a very unique pursuit. Ah, but what is most important are the ingredients for the mash. The more successful the business is, the better the price we can negotiate for those ingredients. Just as we will, the more unsuccessful our competitors are. But that side of things is more the area of expertise of Madame Fike. Anyway, some of our buyers are very exacting when it comes to tastes and flavors. So we will need to adjust our recipes to the demand of our time. Attention! A stronger alcohol sells for more, as you can imagine. But it also takes longer to produce. So that is something else we will need to uh, balance, huh? Well, that's enough for now. Let's get to work. I have a feeling you are going to learn fast. 